If you're interested in a career in information technology, you have likely heard that you need to start on the help desk. But why is that? Like me, you might be worried that the help desk doesn't pay enough or you feel that you can't afford to take the pay cut. What is so great about the help desk that everyone thinks you need to start there? Well, today I'm not only gonna break down what is the help desk and some of the jobs and responsibilities you might encounter, but why I feel people should start with the help desk no matter what career path they're looking to get into within tech. And of course, we're in the middle of the Bearded IT Dads holiday training giveaway. So make sure you guys watch until the end because we're gonna give you a chance to win an IT support technical skills course from YouTuber KevTech himself. So make sure and stay tuned. I'm going to tell you a story on how I got my start in the IT field. And I apologize if you heard this story before, but I feel that it needs to be told. And there's a lot to learn for anyone who's looking to get their start in IT. I got my first job in the IT field with no degree, no certifications, and no prior work experience. Not only did I land a job, I was actually able to make a living wage at this job. And after only being in the help desk for a year, I was making over 60 grand a year. You see, I always had an interest for tech, but school really wasn't for me. Shortly after entering college, I dropped out. I decided to join the working world and just view jobs as a means to the end a way to put food on the table and that's it i worked in manufacturing jobs where i hated my job and thought that was all there was to life you hated your job you woke up you went to work you hated your job you came home relaxed and went out did all over again one of these days i had sort of a mental break you can call it and just couldn't take it anymore i went to my wife and told her i wanted to get a job that i enjoyed and i thought i thought that might be working in tech one of my very first steps i did was much like you're doing right now and did some research on youtube i started to go to tech networking events and started talking to people in the field i started applying for jobs and ended up landing a job now three years later i am the director of network operations for an isp you might be saying, Dakota, I can't afford to make a career change right now. I can't take the risk of a pay cut. But what you really need to be thinking is how can you not afford to make the change? The help desk isn't meant to be a forever position and it is a stepping stone to something greater. I left a $70,000 a year job after all to get into tech. I took a $20,000 a year pay cut when I took my first job in the field but it took me no time at all to earn that back and then exceed it. My first job on the help desk, I received over a $13,000, $13,000 a year raise within my first year. Now, I'm gonna say that this is not the case for everyone, but if you work hard and you're determined, you can make big money quick in this field. Help desk is such an underrated position. It is the foundation that any great IT career is built. I like to view the help desk as almost a rite of passage. A lot of the important skills are learned on the help desk. And you really find out what you enjoy the most in tech. Most help desk positions, you get a, a taste of everything. Networking, user management, security, and more. Many people start off thinking that they want to do something like cybersecurity or coding, but then they find out they actually really like networking or the cloud. You really learn what you like to do on the help desk. So let's dive into some of the myths and things you should know about the help desk when looking into making a career change. First off, keep in mind, you don't need any technical experience to get a help desk position. The help desk is where you build experience. It is an entry level position and really the most important and I believe the only skill you need is customer service experience. And that can come from anywhere. Have a job working at McDonald's? You have what it takes to work on the help desk. You have a job working as a grocery store clerk? You have what it takes to work on the help desk. If you have held down any customer facing position, you already start applying for help desk positions. Really, the reason is once you are in the help desk role, we can teach you everything that you need to know. It is easy to teach someone to use a ticketing system. It is easy to teach someone to reset passwords and build new email accounts. The hard skills are easy to teach. The things I can't teach you are soft skills. Soft skills are your ability to talk and communicate with others and do so in a way that doesn't feel like you're talking down to them, but they can understand what you're talking about. If you looked at any job posting for entry level tech positions, you might be a bit discouraged. It's difficult because you'll go out to start applying for these entry level jobs and they'll want you to have all these certifications and experience. It's the whole chicken before the egg thing. You're like, how can I get experience if you won't hire me without experience? But remember this, when you are looking at these job postings, 
They are purely a wish list, not a hard set requirement. Even if the job posting says it is required to have these skills, you never know when you might be the most qualified a candidate that applies for the job. I've applied for plenty of jobs and was offered positions over people that I felt were way more qualified than me because they liked my people skills and they liked the way I problem solve. Clearly at my current company, my boss told me that I was nowhere near the most qualified person that applied for my position. There was people with bachelor's degrees and years of experience, but he decided to take a chance on me because he liked my soft skills and he could tell that I would be a good fit with the team. This has happened to me on more than one occasion. So go out there and start applying for jobs today. Watch the rest of this video first, but once it's over, don't come up with any more excuses. Start putting yourself out there. What's the worst thing that's gonna happen? They're gonna tell you no, but don't get me wrong. You're gonna get plenty of no's and I'm sorry, but you're not the ideal candidate and stuff, but don't let that get you down. View each one of those as a learning opportunity and strive to do at least 1% better with each application and interview. Now I've been talking about not needing experience, but I still all the time get people telling me that they're waiting to start applying to get their CompTIA A+. But let me tell you firsthand, you don't need it. Now I'm not saying it won't help to have the CompTIA A plus or any other IT certification, but it is not required to land your first position in the career field. If you wanna get the CompTIA A plus, by all means, go for it. I actually recommend people starting out with the CompTIA A plus, but don't wait to start applying for jobs till you have the certification. Start applying today. Why I'm so passionate about going out and starting working, you'll quickly learn that experience is key in the IT field. And the sooner you start building experience, the sooner you can build your career. On the job experience is better than any certifications, hands down. Also, another thing is most jobs in IT will pay for you to get your IT certifications. Not only will they pay for the actual certification, but some are even willing to let you study on the clock because you are learning skills that will help you do your job better. So why would you want to wait to start working when you could be getting paid and advancing your career? I also get comments all the time saying, Dakota, I've been trying to get a job, but no one will hire me without experience or I've applied for hundreds of jobs and no one's ever called me back. What's the point in even trying? Let's break down some things you can do right now that don't cost any money and can make a big impact on your success rate. First off, if you find yourself applying for lots of jobs but not getting any callbacks for interviews, it is time to throw away your resume. When you're just starting out in the field, you really don't have a lot of experience on your resume. So you need to put on something that will catch the eye of these hiring managers, something that will intrigue them and make them want to bring you in for an interview to hear more about you. Make sure and listen things like any volunteer work you do in IT, such as helping local nonprofits or your church with any of their tech needs. Build yourself a home lab. This will do two things for you. One, it'll give you a place to practice the skills you are learning, but it also gives you something to talk about in your interviews, and that counts as experience. Also, Go out and start networking with people on platforms such as LinkedIn or go to tech networking events. It is far too often in this field is not what you know, it is who you know sometimes. If you're applying for jobs and happen to know someone that works at that company, sometimes that's enough to get your foot in the door to an interview. And if all else fails, get yourself a mentor or some career coaching. 90% of the people you talk to in the IT field are always very welcoming and willing to help you advance and build your career. There's plenty of people out there like myself or KevTech that offer inexpensive career coaching where we'll sit down and look at your resume and take the time to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you and give you the advice you need. Speaking of my good friend KevTech, he's actually donated a thousand. Yes, a thousand of his IT support technical skills help desk Udemy course for me to give away to you guys. Now, if you'd like a chance to get in on this course for free, you have to act fast because once they're gone, they are gone. If you use the link in the description, it will apply a coupon that will bring the course to $0. But really quick, do me a favor. If you end up getting the course for free, I'd like you to come back here and let me know down in the comments below. All right, now the thing is, 
Even after you've learned all these powerful tips I've just taught you, it's still not gonna be a cakewalk to land your first job without experience. How can you convince someone to hire you and give you the break you need? Well, in this video on the screen, I go into depth about what to put on your resume and what to do once you get calls for an interview. So make sure you go and watch this video next to really get started on your IT career journey. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, keep learning.